Yeah, my name is uh, Uli Baumann. I am uh, deputy director of the foundation to uh, the memorial to the murdered Jews of Europe in Berlin, Germany. And um, I am actually historian. Um, so um, during my work as historian for the foundation, I, I came also to, the, to this position of deputy director and curator of exhibitions. I also work uh, for my own, uh, for historical projects, uh, but uh, yeah, uh, I'm here in the function of uh, um, being part of the team of the um, foundation. Yeah. <clears throat> the, the, the foundation actually was founded by the German parliament for the erection of the memorial to the murdered Jews of Europe. And uh, the, the, the memorial was finished and inaugurated in 2005. So um, the question was, what will the foundation do in the future? But obviously we had to care of the information center at the memorial, which is a small kind of museum. And uh, yeah, time by time, new commemoration projects started. And so to up today, we are responsible also for the memorial for the persecuted homosexuals, for the memorial for the murdered gypsies in Europe, um, murdered by the Nazis, and for the memorial for the so-called, for the victims of the so-called euthanasia. Um, so four memorials in the moment, and um, yeah, a lot of projects uh, besides, because when our foundation was founded, the parliament said, so the foundation has to contribute to the, uh, to the, contribu to the commemoration of uh, all victims of the Nazis, not only the Jews. So, and we are really taking this very serious. There was a long debate on the memorial to the murdered Jews, uh, very different voices. And uh, one, one point of critique was that uh, it would be maybe not appropriate for the Germans to have a memorial for the murdered Jews because the Germans ha had to care about the, the information about the perpetrators uh, because they are the people of the perpetrators. So why should they have a memorial for the for the victims and some voices even said okay the germans find a good way to sympathize with the, with the victims and that's very easy for them and they can forget about uh, the perpetrators so this was uh, one point of critique and the other was why a memorial only for the jews and not for all victims of the nazis so but in general i think um, the concept was um, successful um, because just one reason um, why it is so necessary, this memorial, is that Germans are concentrated on perpetrators. However, either they try to speak about it or they try to avoid to speak about it. But the whole subject of being sons, daughters, grandsons, granddaughters of perpetrators is very important in Germany. and. On one, in one way, this is very self-focused and it is very important to open the mind and at some stage to talk about the victims. Germans tend to forget about the victims and they have actually no idea who the victims were. There are visitors in our information center who, say, who are really surprised and tell us, oh, six million Jews, we thought they were German Jews. And they had no idea that, that more than 95% of the Jewish victims were from Eastern Europe. So um, a lot of things which they don't know. And this is the reason why uh, it was a good decision to do mm -hmm. it. No, I mean, at the beginning, the Holocaust was not, at the beginning, the Holocaust was not uh, a substantial part of uh, Germans own national memory from the 1950s to the 1980s. Actually, the Holocaust was not really, a, really playing a big role. But afterwards, it played a very 
big role, but still more the side of perpetrators. And the victims had been not really uh, so important, mm -hmm. but this changes. Yeah, I think this is stupid. I, I think on the one hand, there's no, um, there's no uh, primary victim and secondary victim. So um, suffering is uh, suffering in the past or uh, losses in the past uh, merit uh, at any rate a commemoration in in different ways, and um, there should be no competition. So this this is uh, this is this is nonsense, and um, I think if you can if you if you do it smart and. Uh, concentrated on the circumstances and the aims and the targets of persecution you can really um, you can really teach or show both systems uh, maybe even parallelly so like in some of the concentration camp museums in Germany they they do it uh, I think very smartly um, but actually in our daily work we have no problems with this kind of competition, not in Berlin at least. Uh, yeah, of course, I, I, uh, so I, the, the, the whole dis discussion about the 20, 23rd August is, uh, of course, we, we know it. And um, actually, um, I think the, the problem is much more complicated than only uh, the, the 23rd uh, August. So um, it is, uh, I think it is very important to speak about um, about the, the Soviet occupation of, uh, for example, Eastern Poland or whatever, on, on of Estonia and uh, Latvia and so on. Um, but um, somehow, uh, it couldn't be very easy to uh, to blame, for example, the Soviets for the occupation of these countries, and not to speak about the own participation, the own participation of Latvians or Hungarians after the war, or Slovakians and so on, uh, in the um, in the Soviet system, and so to say, this is also the subject of our meeting today uh, the borders the the the, the 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 limitations they are shifting somehow and um, you have really to um, you have to look very closely at the at the own at the own history so um, I had to, I had different several talks with um, with an Hungarian historian, um, which is a interesting, um, the director of House of Terror in uh, in Budapest, Maria Schmidt, mm -hmm. and um, the interesting thing is, of course, she she always emphasizes the so uh, the the communist uh, per uh, persecution and everything, but I was very surprised then when it came to um, yeah. Uh, a closer look, uh, and we were discussing this with poets, and some of uh, uh, some of those poets they, they they said, yeah, we even when we were in Solidarność, we were responsible. We have somehow we we are guilty because we did not fight enough against Jaroselski and whatever. And she meant she went crazy because she even if communist dictatorship was her major subject, she was not pleased to hear about Hungarian participation in the con in and I was I was completely surprised because I thought now now she starts oh yeah and the and the communist times and we have to come we have really to inform people how the system was in, in Budapest and in Hungary and uh, the secret service and so and she said no I don't want to speak about Hungarians in the communist system in Budapest we won't speak about it. It's just the Russians or the Soviets, and we Hungarians. We won't speak about uh, about the participation of of Hungarians because the Soviets were the occupiers and the Hungarians were innocent. 
So I was very surprised. And so, so to say, uh, some, something like that here, that Germans speak about German responsibility in the GDR regime, she really don't like. She, do, she doesn't like. Uh, because she, uh, she would like to, uh, to hear that also the Germans would say, okay, Honecker, doesn't matter, uh, Ulbricht, no, it's not interesting. It's, it, was, it was the Soviets who occupied GDR and the Germans have no guilt. So that's her position. And this is very, this is very strange. And uh, so um, yeah, and you have to look very closely at the own responsibilities and the own participation of those people. And, uh, and uh, if you start to do it, also, you know, the, the discussion on, on, uh, on August um, 23rd gets, uh, <laughs> gets quite interesting because uh, it's not like, not this easy, you know. Yeah. So the, the the situation is um, is uh, not a, not a, not a really a pleasant one. Uh, if we if we um, yeah look at certain tendencies in other countries, but on the other hand, it's quite difficult for us as Germans, as part of the people of perpetrators, uh, to intervene on on the one hand. We can only we can only uh, we can only be a so to say a kind of good example. I don't know. Maybe that's that's a, a kind of offer. It maybe this sounds a little bit arrogant, but um, I think they see what we are doing, and often they they really come to us and say, we, can, we can't understand what you're doing, you're crazy Germans. Why do you blame yourself all the time? And uh, we can't understand. And, and actually the, um, the nucleus, the, the inner, um, the center of this mentality is that I think that they have no Uh, ability to um, to a uh, relaxed and um, yeah to a to to, a, to critical attitude towards their own nations. So this is um, this is really a, a difficulty. So um, yeah. Um, yeah, I mean, so um, <clears throat> for our for our side, especially for our side, which is not an authentic side, uh, I I do not see really a problem because it is an artificial side. So we have the uh, the permanent exhibition, which is most important. Some people didn't think of a, about an exhibition at the beginning, but I'm really happy uh, that we decided to have one. But uh, we we are completely aware that this is a touristic point and uh, that also because of the concept of Eisenman, a lot of people do not understand what's, what all is about. But we have to live with that. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs>